told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby I have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never fell this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way Gotta stay strong and fake a smile until I What's up, Divine Moon Goddess? Bam, bam. It's your Divine Moon Goddess coming at you with a little bit of tarot. All right, you guys, we're going to get into it for Gemini. Um, if you are new here, welcome, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Um, this is your July predictions and seeing what's going on in all of your major houses. Um, if you don't know what the wheel is or the houses are, that's fine. I will tell you as we move along. Um, everything you need to know about me is in the description, where to find me, where to reach out for in-depth readings, uh, the podcast, my other social media, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so let's get into it. Let's get this reading going. Um, let's see what's coming towards you for July. All right, so first house uh, we have is we got the Queen of Cups um, in the reverse. So not so good because um, I feel like either you're trying to cut off your emotions or you're trying to um, get in this space of not feeling your emotions. And that's just going to backfire on you, Gemini. OK, um, you could be dealing with someone who is overly emotional or gossips a lot. Um, you could be dealing with someone who's just like really, you know, in a space because Queen of Cups in the reverse can be just a very gossipy bullshit kind of energy. So hopefully it's not you, Gemini. And, you know, because this is the energy of self, um, the first house, um, even though it's it's represented or uh, ruled by Aries, but it's still your house. It's yourself itself, self-development. So there might be something that you need to work on. Um, the second house, which is ruled by Taurus, is the Ten of Wands in the reverse. And so Taurus is the house of, you know, our money, our, um, what we, what our finances, our credit, our debit, all of this stuff that, you know, is, um, just winging you down. I do like that this 10 of wands is in the reverse because it makes me feel like you are lifting burdens. Uh, sometimes the second house can be what we value and maybe your values are changing. We'll kind of look into that as well and see how that's going to play out for you. Um, the third house, which is your house, is ruled by Gemini. Uh, you have the Six of Wands here. So, that, you know, this house is all about communication, its thoughts, uh, its messages, its intellect, its uh, how, you artic or how you articulate those thoughts in the mind. You do have the Six of Wands here. So there's something um, that is going to either manifest or be successful. And it might just be that you're very good with thoughts, with you are you know, thoughts and communication. So there's something that maybe you need to look at far as work goes that's in that area of thoughts, communication, and things like that, okay? Um, the fourth house, which is ruled by Cancer, uh, Cancer is the sign, uh, or the house, should I say, that rules the home, our heart space, um, everything to do with our children, the mother, um, also a father who nurtures their children, 
um, as well as our soul, things that are hidden within the soul as well. Ten of Pentacles is here. I love this because it's it's something that you love. Um, this could be, like I said, this could be like a job or something that you just love. It's really, really hitting you on the heart space. It's something that you can um, not only manifest and create wealth, but something that also makes you happy. And that's a beautiful thing that I'm seeing right here. Um, the fifth house, which is the house of Leo, uh, that is the fun house. That's everything to do with pleasure um, and not that. It's pleasure. It's hobbies. Um, it's social. It's romance. It's dating. Um, so we have the Knight of Swords here. I do feel like you guys, you know, especially the single ones, you guys do have people contacting you, wanting to date you, uh, wanting to talk to you. These are messages back and forth. Try to be playful because this Knight of Swords sometimes can be like, like too straight to the point. <laughs> Some of y'all need to know how to be playful in life, okay? Um, the sixth house, which is ruled by Virgo, you have the Hierophant here. And so uh, the Hierophant is beautiful because, you know, even the Virgo, uh, this house, the sixth house is your everyday routine. So this is uh, everything that you do for uh, your living, what you do on a day-to-day -day basis, health. Uh, this could be your exercise routine. Whatever it is you're learning and you're leveling up with the Hierophant energy. Now, some of you are in a spiritual career and you're really getting to a higher level of teaching, higher level of being, um, higher level of what people are looking up at you for, especially those of you in a spiritual career. Um, I love it uh, because that Hierophant is learning. Um, some of you might be going to school. You might be learning something. And I feel like you're almost there of where like you're at the end of the class or end of whatever it is that you're kind of, you know, taking on because it's something that you're doing day to day. So whatever you're learning or self-development is coming out very well here in the Virgo uh, house. Um, the seventh house, uh, which is the house of Libra. Libra rules that it's the house of the partner. It's the house of our relationships. Um, it's the house of contracts, legalities. You do have the Queen of Wands in the reverse, uh, which is really Aries energy. But um, you have the Queen of Wands in reverse. So you could have someone who's mad at you. Um, you could have someone who uh, is maybe cut off from you. Um, maybe someone has left you also and has hit your, your confidence in a way. Uh, where it's not the best or not like what you want it. Now, we do have two queens here. If this could be a same-sex uh, relationship as well, or just two people are in their feminine energy, because that very well could happen. There's masculines that are in their feminine all the time. So this could just be two people in their feminine energy as the queens are right across from each other. Each other. There also could be a mother who is involved or in the way or tends to get in the way of your love life. The eighth house, uh, which is the king of cups um, energy, it's in the reverse. Now, the eighth house is endings and new beginnings. It's also sex, but with the king of cups in the reverse, you might just have someone who wants to, you know, you know, be flirty with you in that way or be, you know, very sexual, but they're not really looking to give you more than that. Um, now, with the queen and king here, there is a connection here, but I don't feel like you guys are together with both parties in the reverse. I do feel like there's a, a separation, but I do feel like this is very spiritual because it's over the Hierophant, okay? It's over the Hierophant uh, card here, so it does have this kind of spiritual tone to it. There is something to learn from this connection. Uh, the ninth house, which is the house of Sagittarius, um, this is your traditions, your belief systems. Uh, it's also freedom or lack of freedom. You have the full card in the reverse. So something that maybe you believed in or something that you hold, held as a tradition, you might be letting that go now. As the full card in the reverse is sometimes like a missed opportunity. It's also sometimes someone who's like, I'm not going to be a fool again. So they choose not to leap. You know, when they see something new come in because they don't want to play the fool. So we'll see where that's going when it comes to that uh, ninth house. The tenth house uh, you have, which is ruled by Capricorn, you have the five of swords in the reverse. Um, I do feel like if you've had problems with work or at work, especially with a coworker or a manager, I feel like you were kind of letting your ego get in the way. And so now that you're not, you're kind of seeing that not everybody's against you. The Ten of Pentacles is right under that so that you're flourishing in that particular house. Um, I do feel like, you know, sometimes it's very easy to feel attacked when someone is trying to give you um, criticism about your work. Um, and sometimes we're not able to take that as efficiently as we want to. So I feel like you're kind of working through that. And then this is going to actually help you in the long run. 
Um, the 11th house, uh, which is the house of Aquarius, uh, you have the two of swords. Uh, the house of Aquarius is um, everything to do with, um, you know, the collective and um, ideas, inventions. Um, it also has to do with uh, things that are taboo, that are weird, that are different. Um, it also has to do with the friends, our social cir circles and networks. Two of swords here, you need to make some type of decision when it comes to this house. Um, so we'll see kind of where that's going because that could be so many different things. And the 12th house, which is the house of Pisces. Um, the house of Pisces is, you know, it's our... Um, it's, it's our subconscious. It's our, what we don't see coming. It's what's hidden from us. It's what, uh, our fears, illusions, fantasies, also dreams. Three of Pentacles is here though. I do like that because there's something that you don't see about the situation that will work. Uh, definitely teamwork and in coordination. If you're working with someone trying to bring something together, um, in the month, we do have the page of swords. So I feel like your, I feel like your communication is going to be a little bit off with the Ace of Swords and the Page of Swords here. So if you're trying to communicate to someone, it is probably not going to happen in the way that you want it to. Uh, it's probably not going to happen in the way that you that you feel. Because um, I feel like there's a barrier in communication, even though you have the Ten of Pentacles, I mean, or the Six of Wands over here. And someone in particular, there's a barrier in communication between you and this person, okay? Um, all right, so I'm going to go around one more time and then the next, uh, one will be in the extended. The link will be in the description if you want to, uh, meet me over there, but let's go one more time around and see what's going on. And I'll have an added message, uh, for each placement. So let's see this Aries placement. All right. So you have unexpected money, no matter what is going on. I do feel like there's going to be some unexpected blessings. Um, if you're dealing with an Aries, I do feel like this person has cut off their emotions towards you. Um, in the extent, it will go further to see um, if this person is gone for good or is this person there a chance that they'll be open up again. I'm not really feeling that they're emotionally available with the Queen of Cups. Now, again, it could be like a mother issue that's kind of in the way, but I don't really feel like this person is open when it comes to the emotions, or at least they might feel that that's the way you are. But I do see unexpected income coming in for you for the month of July. Um, we'll kind of look at where that's coming from um, in the extended. Um, all right, let's see. We got the second house. So again, I do like this because I do feel like someone is understanding their worth in the month of July. So there's this, you know, putting these burdens down, like really looking in the mirror and saying, no, I deserve better than what I've been dealing with. And especially in this house, remember this house is not only our money, but it's our values. So I do feel like someone's values are changing. And I do feel like someone is seeing you different. Uh, Gemini, if you're dealing with the Taurus, this person is looking at you differently. They do see your worth. They do see your value. Um, so this person has been trying to work through a bunch of things. Um, in the extent it will see is this Taurus coming towards you because this person does see uh, your worth. And you could be the one seeing their worth as well. Um, and in the extent, I mean, you know who you are in this situation. Okay. Let's see the Gemini <clears throat> placement. Now, you could be dealing with another Gemini, but um, I feel like whatever you're working on, it's going to be a uh, success, okay? Whatever you're working on, whatever communication style, and this even could be social media, this could be content creating, because remember, uh, words go with all of that. So whatever you're doing, it is coming in. Spirit is telling you, you will be successful in whatever this is. If you're dealing with another Gemini, this person does want success with you. And I feel like in the next three to six months, it will be coming together. In the extent that we will see uh, a little bit more into what Spirit is telling you there, okay? Um, all right, in this Cancer placement, now, um, even though we have messages of, of concern, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So I really feel like in this particular uh, placement, um, there I don't think you should really get too crazy about it, because, even though it says messages of concern. Um, in the extent, it will go a little bit further and see what are these messages, what is it that you need to be concerned of. But I feel like you need to focus on what your heart is pulling you to, Gemini. Now, if you're dealing with a Cancer, know that this Cancer will always see you as their Ten of Pentacles. You are their home. You are their their, their place um, and their foundation. So I do feel like this person wants this with you. And so in the extent, it will go a little further and see, is it something that we really can have or is it is it just a dream is what I'm hearing. 
It was all a dream. <laughs> all right. So in the Leo house, oh, we have the wealthy man coming out. Oh, like I told you, some of you guys got some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful uh, energy coming at you this month. And so this is in the dating house. So Gemini, get ready to have some contenders uh, popping up and looking at you. And they got something. This is these ain't these bum ass. <laughs> bum ass dudes trying to ride up your skirts okay and the same could go the other way i don't want to just down all men because you know this is not the men bashing channel um for them broke ass women you know no this would be a woman who's successful this would be a woman who has something this would be a woman who has her shit together okay gemini um in the extent we're gonna see just how far that's gonna go because i feel like those of you who are single you have the opportunity to have someone who not only has their shit together but is a contender and i feel like for some of you you've been waiting on somebody like this to come through like i've been waiting on this divine i've been waiting i've been praying <laughs> so uh in the virgo placement uh we do have the main male we have poverty i don't like the poverty card not one bit uh not one bit not one bit uh, but I do feel like you have uh, the uh, potential to have someone who wants stability. Um, this is someone who wants stability. This is someone who wants a foundation, wants a family. They're very traditional. So I feel like this person might be slow moving. And when I say that, it means like this person is like, oh, I got to make so much money in the bank. I got to have, you know, my, my funds available like this. It has to be this. It has to be that. And so spirit, you know, is telling you that this person is going to move really slowly. So if you're dealing with the Virgo, this person is not going to move fast because they have to have all their ducks in a row. Um, if this person is struggling with any money issues, they're definitely not going to be trying to date you or, or really trying to be all in your face because they're trying to get their life together. So do be cognizant of that when it comes to the Virgo energy. But again, uh, we will look at that. If you're walking around with this lack mindset, though, Gemini, it's going to spill into your life. So you want to make sure that you're not thinking that there's anything that's off limits. Understand that you can have love, you can have wealth, you can be abundant, um, you can be wealthy, you can be successful, but you have to believe it, okay? Um, all right, let's see what this, uh, in this Libra placement with this Queen of Wands energy. All right, whoever this is, I feel like it's going to be a lot of work to get this person to not be mad at you anymore. And it doesn't have to be a Libra. It could be anyone. It's a seventh house, so it's a partner. Um, so whoever this is, they're pretty pissed off at you, right? Or it could be the other way around where you're very pissed off at them. But I feel like this situation is going to take a lot of work. It's not going to be something that's going to be easily uh, fixed. It's not going to be something that's going to be easily uh, just swept under whatever has happened. There's some things that we need to mend and we need to heal and we need to work through. Um, in the extent, it will work a little bit different because there could be a third party. Sometimes the Queen of Wands in reverse. She's my very flirtatious uh, seductress. Okay. So, you know, sometimes when it's in the reverse, it does show someone who's been, um, you know, loose with it. Feminine energy. So... We'll see what that is. Now this uh, King of Cups energy. Let me see what else popped up. I do feel like you and this King of Cups uh, energy, possible Scorpio, because it is in the Scorpio placement. It is King of Cups, which is my Scorpio energy. Um, you have the potential to move forward, um, but there's going to be this space of weight. You're going to be waiting. Um, this person has to mature. This person has to mature their energy. They have to mature uh, their life. Um, they have to mature where they're at. So there's a lot of, of this going on where um, this is not going to be something that's going to be overnight. I feel like this is something that over time, this person will mature and be open with their emotions. But right now, I don't see you and this person being very open together. Not with the king and queen, both in the reverse. So there's this period of waiting. So if you're dealing with the Scorpio, I do feel like this person has love, but I don't think this person is ready to share that love or receive that love. I do feel like this person is either trying to fix their life or get their stuff together. And so this person is not available to give you what you want, but in the extended, we're going to go further in there to see what is going on with this King of Cups. Are they just being that, you know, that uh, person? We ain't taking all the rest of those. All right, in a Sagittarius house, lots of concerns on this person or this person has concerns on you. Again, I feel like someone doesn't want to be a fool. So someone's kind of holding back here. They're very concerned of moving forward. Um, so if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, I think that's where they're at. They're just kind of not sure uh, if they should move forward or not. Not sure if they should reset, reach out. Not sure if they should go the, to the next level. 
the thing about this, I feel like um, people have to stop being afraid to take chances in love. I know I was a person too, very afraid of love, very afraid of getting my heart broken. But at a certain extent, then you just don't have anybody. You just sit in this fucking place of too afraid to do anything. So then you just do years of being by yourself. And sometimes, not to say it's not healthy, but the whole experience with love is to experience love, good and bad, okay? So in the extended, we'll see what else is going on with the Sag because someone has some concerns here, whether it's you or the Sagittarius. All right, let's see. Um, in the Capricorn house, um, uh, you do have, like I told you, you guys have a lot of, of people coming to flirt with you uh, this uh, month. You definitely got some courtship on the table. Um, you could be, this could be a, a new Capricorn coming in for you. Um, for some of you, if you were dealing with a Capricorn, this person is trying a different approach with you if it's a Capricorn that you already know. Um, when it comes to your workplace, for some of you, you might have work romance. So be careful with that because sometimes uh, the work romance could get us in trouble. So we will look into that and see where is that going, okay? I don't know why they're trying to give me 15 million fucking cards on you today, um, Gemini. All right, in the Aquarius placement, you might have to make some decisions about who you work with or who you're doing work um, with because that's what I'm feeling very strongly. It's like who you work with. Um, there is some uh, decisions on just the detail of what you're doing. For those of you who really have a job in social media, um, I feel like this is pertaining to you because you really have to pick and choose who you're going to work with. You have to pick and choose who's, uh, you know, the best to work with and really what complements you and what doesn't complement you. I do feel like you're standing out as it's coming out in this particular uh, section. So I do feel like you're standing out amongst the rest. Um, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, I feel like this Aquarius is really into their work. They're trying to make some decisions about their work, but I feel like they're very involved in that. So that might be why they're MIA if you're not talking to them or not seeing them. Spirit is all in my fucking ear tonight. Um, all right. And if you're uh, this last placement of what you don't see is a lot of you have the potential for marriage or a partner this month. Um, it could be with the Pisces. This is in the Pisces energy. So it could be with the Pisces that, you know, you and this person could team up and work together. Um, one of the biggest things I do feel though, is that you don't see this coming. So a lot of beautiful energy coming in, a lot of courtship, those single ones, you guys have the energy of love coming in this month. So open up your eyes, be flirty, be playful, you know, have eye contact with people, um, talk, put yourself out there because you just don't know who's coming in. Um, and those of you struggling in a relationship, I don't, we have to we have to clarify because there's just a lot going on, I think, between you and this person. I do feel like you and this person can get it back, but I do feel like there's some things that we need to iron out. So we'll look at that in the uh, extended. Um, again, even though we don't have any... Um, any communication really, or the communication might be very little. I do feel like someone is trying to mature or step their game up this month. So just be kind of paying attention. There might be also a past loved one or father energy that's trying to come through to give you some advice and maybe you're not hearing the words. Okay, dad, I hear you. <laughs> maybe you're not hearing the words. So that's what I got for you, uh, Gemini, this month. And for those of you who are going to come on over to the extended where we go in a little bit deeper, uh, the link is in the description. Go ahead and click that and come on over. And everyone else, I will see you on either next month or on the next uh, video. Um, as always, sending you so much love, so much light. Bye.